welcome back to the Big ML tutorial series. In this video, we'll discuss how to make predictions with your supervised model. We'll start out by explaining how to make predictions with an individual tree using the Big ML interface. We'll then see that you can do this with any of the supervised models that Big ML offers, and that some model types may offer options at prediction time. Finally, we'll show you how to make a prediction on many instances at once using batch predictions. Let's review supervised learning for a moment. Supervised learning works by learning to predict one field in your dataset from the others. In our diabetes diagnosis example, this means predicting whether a person has diabetes based on certain physiological characteristics. Importantly, in the training dataset, we already know whether or not each patient has diabetes. That's how the algorithm learns how to make its predictions. Once the model is learned, however, its power lies in being able to predict whether or not a patient has diabetes for patients who are not in the training data. Let's make some predictions using a model we trained earlier. To do this, first open up a model in the model resource view. Then, under the cloud action icon, select Predict. This shows a prediction form in which you can specify values for each of the input fields expected by the model. The form starts out having the mean values for all fields. As you change these values, you can see the prediction and confidence change at the top of the form. If you want to designate a value as missing, just uncheck the box next to the field name. Prediction with other model types works in much the same way. If you navigate through an ensemble to the prediction view, you'll see a similar interface. This interface has some buttons near the top that allows you to differently weight the votes of each model in the ensemble, as you could in the ensemble's partial dependency plot view, with choices for the vanilla plurality weighting or for weighting by confidence or probability. These forms are mostly for experimentation with the model. Using them for predicting the objective for more than a few instances would be extremely time-consuming and inefficient. If you have many instances to predict, the easiest way to do this is with a batch prediction. To create a batch prediction, you will select a supervised model and a dataset that has all of the input fields expected by the model. BigML will then create a new dataset with predictions for each point in the original. To do this, you can again use the cloud action icon from the model resource view. If you select batch prediction, a menu is displayed that allows you to select the dataset that contains the instances for which you want predictions. At the bottom of this form, you can see a CSV style output that shows the format of the dataset that will be generated. As you can see, by default, the model simply appends its prediction to the end of each row of the dataset. Under the Output Settings subpanel in the Configuration panel, you can change the format of the output by removing some of the original fields in the dataset or changing the name of the column containing the prediction. You can also include the model's confidence in a separate column by clicking on the percentage icon. Click on Predict to create the batch prediction. The output of a batch prediction can be viewed in two ways. First, you can view the output dataset. The dataset is a big ML resource like any other and can be used, for example, to train new models.
The second is to download the output as a CSV file, which can be opened and viewed in your favorite text editor or spreadsheet application. To sum up, in this video we learned how to make predictions with your trained Big ML models. We saw that each type of supervised model can be used to make predictions, but that some may have extra configuration options. Finally, we saw that you can make predictions for all of the points in some dataset using batch predictions, which can be viewed as a Big ML dataset or downloaded as a CSV file.